Hey there, this is Molly with Jack Weston. In this video, I wanna give you a quick little overview of an amazing, amazing open access resource we have available to you on our website, which is our Spaced Repetition flashcard platform. Now, some of you guys may be thinking, Spaced Repetition, never heard of that, right? And ultimately, you probably have, but you've probably just heard it referred to by the company that runs it, which is Anki, right? So many students, both pre-med and medical students alike, Right, love Anki because it essentially acts as a tutor for you um, as it essentially watches as you do flashcards, right? You can give it a subjective ranking of how comfortable you are with the content on that card and it using its algorithm will tell you exactly when to review that card to maximize your retention of that material, right? This is so powerful especially when considering the MCAT, right, has a large wealth of content that you're expected to know, right? And many students will spend several months studying for the MCAT. So how can we make sure that you remember all that content you learned in the first week, right, when several months later you take your exam? This space repetition platform is really how you can ensure you can do that. Um, that being said, some of you guys might be wondering, why did you spend all these all this time and resources making your own version then, right? Why did you make a spaced repetition uh, platform like this? Um, and really there are a couple reasons, right? So ultimately our platform is much easier to use. Um, one of the common complaints about Anki is that, uh, yeah, I mean, it's great, it's free, but it's really difficult to set up, right? The settings get very, very granular and in depth. Um, and it tends to be difficult for students to figure out how to set it up. I remember actually when I first downloaded Anki feeling a little overwhelmed by the sheer number of questions that would pop up every time you tried to open a deck. Um, I personally spent way too long on YouTube trying to find the optimum settings for, for retention for the MCAT. We wanted to make that way simpler, right? We we know what students need for MCAT prep. We've simplified your experience quite a bit so that you're really only prompted to tell us how many cards you wanna study when you set up your deck. Um, and I'll show you how to do that, right? Another reason we wanted to do this is because we wanted to make it easier to easier and cheaper to sync between devices. If you want to use Anki, um, let's say on your phone um, and with your computer, right? And you want it to sync together. Um, for most individuals, this is going to cost like $25. Um, and you've, you've got to kind of navigate some difficulties with that. Sometimes your cards don't always sync up. You might lose progress. We wanted to make this much simpler, right? Every card that you do um, on our website is synced immediately. Um, and you can ultimately do these cards on any device that has internet access. So really easy, very streamlined. You'll never lose your progress with our platform. Um, the third and final reason is because uh, ultimately there are a lot of really valuable Anki decks out there. Um, not every student knows how to find them, right? I personally found out of Anki because of the Mile Down deck, which is very, very popular. Um, but I had to search online for it, right? You gotta go on Reddit and then oftentimes you've gotta go to someone's Google Drive and download it and then you've gotta download Anki and then you've gotta upload it to Anki. We wanted to make this much more accessible to students. So we took the most popular freely available decks out there and we just put them on our on our platform, right? So you can come over here, look at popular decks, right? Hey, Jack Sparrow, 2048's deck. I'm just gonna subscribe to it, right? It'll give me a little information and I hit subscribe and I'm immediately into this deck, right? You don't have to go download and upload, right? We wanted to make this much, much simpler. Um, so please come and explore the decks we have available on our website. We do have pretty much all the really popular ones. Um, and then we do actually have a couple Jack Weston official decks as well, which is really exciting. Um, so we wanted to put out some decks that really you can't find anywhere else other than our platform. Um, this one especially, we just launched very recently. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna walk you through this just to give you a, a test of how this platform works. Um, but just to highlight the other decks we have available, Amino Acids Comprehensive Deck, really wonderful to make sure you know those amino acids forwards and backwards. Um, you can also see that we've got um, Research Methods Decks, we've got Cars Vocabulary Decks, um, and you can start to see that some students have actually made their own decks and made them public. So you can start to share decks with friends, which is so, so special. Um, we love seeing our students using this platform and in sharing resources with each other. Really, really special to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually use this. 
with our brand new deck. I'm really, really excited to show you this because it is gorgeous. <laughs> if you are someone who loves your resources to be beautiful, you're going to love this deck. Um, beautiful, comprehensive, and, you know, well-designed. This is, this is the deck for you. Okay, so, I mean, when you hit subscribe, you'll be prompted with some information, 2,800 in-depth cards, right? High-definition images, and we've got linked resources. It's pretty awesome, right? You'll hit subscribe, right? And we've got a start page. Like I said, very few settings that you're going to have to set up, right? So this first one is basically what topics do you want to see, right? So most students will just hit next because they want a full, thorough review. Let's say I just wanted to study Psychosoch. That's okay. I can unclick all the other sub decks, which is what these are called, um, within the Jack Weston MCAT deck, right? We've got these little divisions. Um, I'm going to just hit behavioral for behavioral sciences, right? And let's hit next. The only other question you're going to have to answer um, is how many cards you want to see per day. And most people will just hit study, right? 20 is a pretty good number, but if you want to go slower or faster, feel free to do so. You can adjust that here. Um, so let's hit study. And immediately, right? I'll show you the review screen later. Immediately we're taken to our first card, right? This is really awesome. Um, so this is called a closed deletion card. Basically this card is prompting us to decide if the left or right cerebral hemisphere matches these traits, right? Let's say that we decide it's the left, right? But um, let's say that it was pretty hard for us, or maybe let's say we thought it was right, right? Let's check, right? When we hit show answer, we'll see the back of the card. Uh, and as someone who's a highly visual person, I, I love, I love the images that we were able to create for this deck. Um, so here, right, the image is tied with the card on the front, right? So this, in this situation, again, was asking about the left cerebral hemisphere. Notice that on the opposite side of the card, the closed deletion has been filled in, right? So it was the left. Um, and you can see all of the other traits assigned to the left, left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. Right, so the goal here is to check your answer and then use the image to really reinforce that concept. Right, it's going to echo all the main points in the question itself. Um, we also include links to our AMC outline to really make sure that you get all the information that's that's really relevant to the card in question. Right, so please click on these links and and come explore because there's really a lot of really valuable information that's linked to these cards. All right. Um, so let's say that we did this card and let's say it was really, really easy for us. We saw it and we're like, oh, analytic thinking, language, logic, and math left for sure, right? We'd come down here and pick easy because we knew it immediately. Maybe it was like, oh, I'm pretty sure it's left, like pretty sure. Maybe you'll hit good. It's like, okay, show me at the end of this deck, right? Show me before the end of the day, but like I'm, I was pretty comfortable with that. Maybe we were pretty unsure. It was like kind of a... Uh, maybe 60 40 split left versus right maybe you want to see it again in five six minutes you can hit hard right or maybe you truly had no idea at all you could hit again show me again in like less than a minute all right let's say that this was pretty easy let's take our next card right blank is the practice of blah 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 oh okay i know exactly what fills in this blank show answer oh gorgeous right so the answer was meditation and look at the back Right. The back is giving you, again, so much additional context that will really help reinforce your understanding of meditation and how it can be used, what benefits there are. Right. And ultimately, these are all going to reflect how it's going to be tested on your exam. So let's say that this one was a little trickier. I, I, I had a hard time with the front of this card. I could hit hard. Um, as you go through these, I want to highlight the hotkeys that we have. Um, if you want to make sure that you are being very... Uh, time efficient, feel free to use these. We have shortcuts that you can explore um, that will allow you to navigate through our decks faster. Um, so you could hit show answer, which I guess I could have done as a space bar, right? Awesome. Systematic desensitization. Maybe this one was really difficult for you. Hit again, right? And ultimately we can just keep going through. All of this content is here and freely available. Look at these images. We've got additional AMC outline links. Um, really, really special. So you can come check these out, more links, right? These images are very in-depth, really helping you reinforce this content knowledge. Um, and notice down here that you can see how many cards you have left for today and how many are still learning, right? This is if you didn't hit easy, right? Maybe if you pit one of these guys. So it'll remind you again 
after this. Um, I do want to note that you can flag and suspend cards. A flag means, hey, I want to come back to this later, right? This was really tricky for me. Um, suspend means I don't want to see this anymore. I'm done with this card. Um, these are useful tools because when you go to our review screen, which I'm going to show you how to do that, right? If I hit back and then if I cut, hit view deck, which looks like the little settings symbol, I can actually look at all the cards in the deck. Um, and what's cool is I can filter all uh, 2,807 cards by flagged. In this case, I, I don't have any flagged cards, no results found, but if I did flag one, right, or suspend one, I could see that, right, and I could quickly navigate through. Let me get rid of the filter. Notice that you can also filter by subdecks if you would like. Um, so you can use this screen to take a look at all of the cards that we have available, right? Um, what I want to highlight here is if, let's say you were studying hormones, you really wanted to understand more about the, the thyroid gland and what it does. You can actually search for thyroid and you can see all the cards that we have that has something to do with thyroid, right? That word is in here. So here's what the gland actually is and does. Beautiful, right? Or here's what T3 and T4 do, right? We get some images here, absolutely phenomenal. Calcitonin, another hormone secreted by the thyroid gland. We'll also see related things like parathyroid gland, um, again, with very in-depth images. So all of this is to say, right, you can use this deck um, or any of the decks that we have on our platform to really get a very thorough in-depth review. So absolutely phenomenal. Definitely come and explore this, you guys. Again, such a phenomenal way to make sure that you're retaining this info. Um, we also highly encourage you guys to create your own decks or even to import Anki decks. If you have decks that you've been using on Anki, no worries. You can import the progress that you've made into our platform, which is really exciting. Um, again, much more user-friendly and easier to sync. So feel free to do so. If you have content that you've already made on Anki, you don't have to go and copy it over manually. Um, if you are going to create your own deck, highly encourage you to do so here, right? Because again, just to, to recap, right? So much more user-friendly, um, really easy to navigate through, to search, um, to, to, you know, set up your settings, all of that good stuff. It's also free. You don't have to worry about purchasing access to an Anki app and then having the sync, um, and even maybe having issues with that syncing. And of course you get access to not only all of the really popular, freely available MCAT decks that are circulating around the, the internet, um, you know, nice all in one place, but you also get access to our unique and original Jack Weston decks, like the amino acids comprehensive deck, the research methods deck. Um, and of course you can share your own decks with friends. I hope that this video has helped you understand our flashcard pl uh, platform. Please let us know if you have any other questions and thanks for watching. Bye.